When it comes to indigenous Native American conversations and finding out who is who, it's always best to get information from the families or the tribe itself because if you end up just getting information off of like Google or YouTube, depending on the source, sometimes it's not always good information. And I'm going to explain a little bit about that in this video. About a few weeks ago, I have gotten a comment on one of my videos asking if Asada Shakur is a part of the Tuscarora Confederacy. The reason why is because in that video, one of the clips I have put up, this person had mentioned Asada Shakur and that they're relatives and they are Native American. So I had asked the tribe, my tribe that I'm a part of, and asked the chief, and he said that Asada does recognize that she has Native American lineage, and that's all I know. And I really didn't know too much on Asada Shakur because I was born in the 90s, so I wasn't around during the whole Black Panther movement and everything that was going on during that time. And I didn't know that she was Tupac's godmother. So I looked her up just a little bit and I could see why some people, if they was to hear that she's Native American, um, it would probably throw them off a little bit because she is known through the media of being African American, a part of the Black Panther movement. And now she's like the enemy of the state, lives in Cuba, not even allowed back in the US. So it's it's a lot of that. And I wanted to talk to, I wanted to talk about that a little bit because her situation kind of reminds me, not what she went through, not what she went through, but her status reminds me of someone in my family who was pretty big and famous during his time. And he was labeled as African American, but in the family, he's not really African American. So I'm gonna explain that right about now whoever's watching this and if you happen to be a huge baseball fan then you probably heard of a baseball player named don newcomb don newcomb was i believe the third black pitcher in the major league and he played on the negro major league with jackie robinson and i think two others and they made history being like one of the first black men to play baseball. And if you was to Google him, it says that he's African-American. And he is related to my grandfather on my mother's side of the family. So on my mom's side of the family, uh, my mom's pretty mixed up. My mom's mother they got Indian in their family and that goes back to like Georgia but on my mother's father's side they have Indian in their family and it's supposedly right where I live in Staten Island New York and growing up I've had asked my grandfather what was we and he specifically mentioned Ramapo um never heard of that before some people in the family were saying cherokee some were saying well he was the only one that said ramapo and you know he's he was born in like the 1920s so he has he knew more obviously than the generation today um because of like his grandmother and so on and so forth but don newcomb and my grandfather were first cousins and I never heard of African American coming from them at all. Um, I never met Don Newcomb, but um, through just talking to my grandfather and people, just the elders on that side of the family, they never mentioned African American. It was always um, Native American, and supposedly we, I, my ancestors have always been living in like Staten Island, the whole New York area, and they were Indians from out here. And 
apparently it's Lenape. My grandfather said Ramapo. It's a huge thing. But that's all I know. But um, as far as Don Newcomb and his legacy, he's known to the world as African American. And he, to the family, he was mixed. Like if you was to ask the family, what was he? They will be able to tell you like he was, we have Caribbean in the family. Um, the last name Newcomb comes, it goes back to Barbados. Um, the whole Native American, never, never heard of, never mentioned, never heard any of the mention about African American. Um, but that's what happens. I think back then people, you was better off saying that you are black or African American rather just saying Native American. And I always found it funny, like ever since my grandfather had told me what we was and I never really took it all that seriously, but after he passed, I decided to like try to research and figure things out. And the more I asked questions to people in the family, the more they kind of like gave me the cold shoulder and their attitude is kind of like, just move on from that. So therefore I never went too far deep into the whole Lenape heritage side. But as far as I know, Don Newcomb was not African-American, he was mixed with some Native American heritage. Now, the reason why Asada Shakur's situation kind of remind me of Don Newcomb is because if you was to Google her and according to the media, she is African-American, just like how Don Newcomb, if you was to Google him, it shows African-American. And I think she even, not that I think, because I saw a video where she mentioned about being African-American and, you know, that was more the norm back then. You was better off saying African-American or Black than Native American. I did hear stories of people being threatened um, and even worse things if you was to say that you're Native American. And it was more beneficial to claim African American or Black. And if you think about it, people do that to this day. Like, for instance, you have Latin people come in here claiming Black. Like, what's his name, that rapper? Um, Fat Joe, he claims Black. You know, it's beneficial. You get to be in the culture and whatnot. So... It is what it is. But if you was to ask the family, that would be best. I mean, of course, you have to get in contact with the families. And better yet, if you was to ask the tribe, that would be even more accurate because they know who's who. Like for me, since I am a part of Skidori Wukan, I can speak on certain things about Tuscarora because I'm in the tribe. But when it comes to the Lenape side, even though my family say who they are, um, I'm not enrolled with any Lenape tribes. I'm not enrolled with Ramapo. So therefore, I can't just be coming on here and saying a bunch of stuff because I'm not recognized by them. So it is always best to speak to the tribe exactly.